Um, is that a good position? If you guys see any issues, like uh, my face is covering something, I can move this, this box. That's no problem. Just let me know. There's subtitles. Yeah, should I move it to, like, the top? Top? I don't remember where a good place is. Right? Um... I see the pointer. I don't like seeing my mouse pointer. That's one thing. Uh... I can't stop that. Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong thing. Nope, still can't stop that. Just gonna have to freaking move it. That stuff's near the bottom, if I remember. Okay, so maybe we. Maybe we do this. If it looks stupid, just say something. Just be like, yo, Isaac, that's ass. I don't know, it feels kind of weird up there. Can Like, I feel like I'm gonna be like, this way. Yo, contradiction. You have text on the bottom and in the center. Okay, so up here. I have to put it up here. All right. Contradiction is an FMV game. It's pretty cool, as far as I can tell. I saw like 0.3 seconds of it, so. <laughs> AJ Warrior. Um, I got my Trump bucks a while ago. I've been checking, but I don't see any, I don't see my, um, I don't see my my deposit that they they informed every American that they were getting, but we ain't. Oh, Merca. Wonderful. Um, Carl, I got my Trump books. Like I said, I got my Trump books. I thought we were just talking about how the stimulus isn't hitting everybody. I didn't know you were going to be crazy. Thank you for the 20 gift subs to Frankie, Elf, It's Rampage, Grand Ski, Hunter, Purple Hannah, Weird Beard, Danny Odell, Anoli, Vizian, Kira Luis, Fizzy the Fox, Anamon, uh, Imane, Imane, Spirit Mage, Kaylee's, Coin Goblin, Biscuit, Bird is the Word, Super, and Discount Seiko. Thank you. What, I wasn't the first? Y'all need to just... It's just... Everything is very much appreciated. I'm not saying don't do it. I mean, I am, but we appreciate it. I don't... This is very derailing. Because <laughs> I was just going to see 
if it hit. I'm still going to see if it hit, because that's what we were talking about. And Dilly and I were like, when is this coming? <laughs> but apparently, y'all are just giving it to us regardless. And we don't even get our thing, because it just happens. What game is this? It's got to be Contradiction, once y'all stop motherfucking donating. I can't focus. I can't multitask. I am not good at this. Is it, does this mean Dilly can get a new mic? <laughs> right now, we are holding off. Um, for now. <laughs> what, I just got here? <laughs> Welcome, Ezreal. No, honey, it's not you. It's certain people like Carl and Potato shoving money down my throat. Like some kind of two dollar whore. And I'll be your whore for you, baby. No, but seriously, it's appreciated, guys. Like, thank you. I'm I'm very honored and thank you. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I, I have to get my my brain working. Um, you a good two dollars? Thank you. Mm. Got you. Praise Smokachu. <laughs> praise Smokachu. Praise him. Can we get some praises in chat? Praise the Smokachu. Praise the smoke at you. Thank you for summoning our Lord. Smoke at you. Not only this time smoked the cigars, but he smoked so many cigarettes so that none of you have to ever in your entire life. He is saving your lungs for you. Thank you, smoke at you. We appreciate it. Thank you. I need some more praises in chat because we are not praising Smoke at you enough. He is with us always. Anyway, this game is Contradiction. Because y'all, thank you. Thank you, Carl. Um, this is a game where you're a detective. One day we'll play it. <laughs> um... <laughs> So we got start game, use in-game Okay, sound, first off. I, I just want to point out, I have never played this on here. If the sound is ass, I need you guys to tell me. If the sound is not perfect, like 100% perfect, like you would, you would not introduce your grandma to me if the sound is bad. I know you guys. You're like, my grandma deserves the best. And if you if you introduce her to me and the sound isn't good, then then how are we supposed to go on with our lives? So if it's not good grandma sound, we need to we need to get that working. Sajda, how are you? Doesn't really matter though. It does matter. Oh, I beat you in top nuts. Wait, what? Oh my god, somebody not only dethrone Sajda, but put him on the third pedestal out. Alright, so watch out intro. Case background info. <sighs> Carl. <laughs> I'm trying to focus. <laughs> I can't focus when you do this shit. Haha, <laughs> 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 no focus. Carl, honey. Thank you. <laughs> this is the game. This is Contradiction. Welcome to Contradiction. Where Isaac just sits here and shits his pants because of all the, the money coming in because you guys are sweet things. And thank you, Carl. That, that's a lot of bits. That is a lot of bits. 
I am exhausted <laughs> right now. <sighs> You're supposed to hear water. Do you guys hear water? Like what? Like do you hear? Do you hear Grandma taking a bath right now? In in the forest. You don't. Very faintly. How about now? Now do you hear Grandma taking a bath in the forest? I hear it. Do you hear it well? Faintly. Uh, let's start. I can hear it. I hear like a drizzle of rain. It sounds like trees, but I don't know. I, I, I Like I said, I've never played this before. Okay, we're gonna just start. How is the sound? My name is Jenks. Jesus Detective Christ. Inspector Frederick Jenks. Jenks, and you're I've adorable. been assigned to a last minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident like or whether this was murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a better? bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Kate was known to be a free spirit a party with a girl. nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's yeah. death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border on mind control. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. <coughs> one of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon did it. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting. This game plays in England, I have a feeling. Noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. All right, guys. Okay, so how is my voice right the fuck now? Like, is it good? Are we good? Are we good in the hood? I'm gonna keep talking. We're gonna say Bodhi. Bodhi, Bodhi, Bodhi. Is this all around one murder or multiple? One murder, that girl. At least as far as I know. It good? You're fine when not with the FMV. That's fine, I'll just shut up during FMVs. Sounds perfect. All right. Welcome to Edmonton Village. Click the arrows to move around the village. If you see the magnifying glass, try your investigate button to see Jenks investigate. Click the inventory icon to see your collection or er, collected items, which includes both physical objects and information Jenks has collected. I'm pretty sure I've walked near Edmonton just now. I got lost and walked like six kilometers. Jesus Christ. 
If you're at a location where you think you can use a physical item, try to use that icon. This is pretty. Pretty. For murder. Alright. Go ahead to the pub. Okay. Knock again. No. Go left down my street. Let's do it. Go down behind the Brenton house. Why are we doing this? Go left down West Street. It's like showing like text that I can type in. It's really weird. Go left down West Street. Go west. Uh, head to the west street. Can I just knock on the door? Go right to Eden Lodge. These graphics are amazing, right? Knock for Simon. There we go. Is it Simon? Uh, yeah. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Could I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um, yeah. Thank you. Well, that's not fair. Uh, How we can just go really? through here if you want. Uh, Emma's working in the front room. Hi. Uh, this is Inspector Jenks. Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. Just come through. Is it okay in here? Oh, this will be fine, yeah. Do you want anything? Water? No, 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 I won't be long. Okay. Your first interview, first pick an item you want to ask about, and then click ask to see, uh, to see Jenks ask about it. You've heard your reply, you can see a summary of what was said in the box on the bottom. Click any item you've already asked about shows the summary of the replies beneath. Now click um, any reply to add it to the contradiction box on the right. You can add two replies at a time. You can start looking for contradictions. Find two contradictory replies and add them to the contradiction box. If they go green, sit back and watch Jinx interrogate the interviewee. I love Jinx, marry me. <laughs> I'll do both if you can. I'm about to do the meet. Uh, back. To okay, and watching all. Oh. Oh, the sections that you sync up noises, but we'll try. Do it, bro. Ask about this item. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. No, I don't think so. Never seen it before. It is a little loud for me. I don't know if it's loud for you guys. Okay. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um, so last Friday's meeting, I think. Did you see her after the meeting? No. How long have you known Kate? That would be when we started Atlas. Three months ago. Did you socialize outside Atlas? No. Bullshit! What sort of person was she? Well, she's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know? Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, her mood, her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to a meeting sometimes. And she would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, tell me a bit about Atlas. Oh, it was just a business management training program for postgrads. And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the groups is. Okay, thanks. This is amazing! 
Is it Emma? Can I? Oh. Wait. Did I already find a contradiction and I didn't hear it? Um. This one? No. That doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make sense either. This, these aren't actual issues. Oh, there we go. Doesn't know anything about the license? Well, I mean, logically, no, he wouldn't. None of this... You can leave and come back? I can't, though. Unless I'm supposed to, like, push a button. No, I can't click visit Emma or exit. game sometimes has an issue where you have to leave and come back to click on things, but I can't leave. Did we already find a Did bug? Did you know whether Kate had lost this? Thank you. Probably oh, there it later. goes. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> Best to knock on the window for Emma. Simon always answers the front door. It's only a few questions. Yeah. Let's ask about Kate Vine. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Oh, just Kate being Kate. You know, a bit wild. Wild? What way wild? Oh, she just used to what question everything, wild? you know. Have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? Kate had a drink problem. How uh, noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. But I think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Hmm. Okay. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Um, I don't know, but I I don't think so. Okay. Mm. That's not one. Didn't see Kate often, appeared her usual self. No, because you would still know her usual self. Like, you would see somebody in passing, you would still know what the usual person would look like. Um. Uh, that's all for the moment. All right. Thank you. End of Lake and try her story. Put it in our Discord. Um, we have suggestions there. That way I don't forget. Looks like homebrew equipment. Ah. This might come in handy. Are we just stealing a screwdriver? 
we are just stealing a screwdriver. Thief, thief, guards. I always investigate crimes when I do, I steal stuff. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Go back into the woods. Let's go here. Nothing? right into the clearing. Right, nothing. This is cute. I like this. Enter Atlas's grounds. Enter the Atlas building. I have to come back later, I think. Hmm. Save. Yes. Um, let's go back and ask about beer making. The rewards are a bit confusing. I mean, yeah, but that's only because I'm always confused. Let's ask Simon about the beer making. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Screwdriver. Isn't worth asking about the screwdriver. Box of bottles, sure. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homeroom. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers. Except for James over at Farmhouse. I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Do you see James a lot? No, not really. Hmm, okay. Which was the bike outside? Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. And uh, There's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. Unless you're Jenks and you just walk. Be back later on, if that's okay. Let's talk to Emma. You can quick travel, just FYI. Fucking hell, really? Oh, no, I'm guessing this. A few questions, yeah. if you don't mind. Whose is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousin's. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broke. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it. Have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? Me? <laughs> no. I don't like beer. I only drink wine. I can't stand spirits either. Hmm. What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I, I don't know. Okay. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, we can't really do anything over here. Did we already a hit a okay. contradiction and I just didn't notice?
Thank you. Probably be back later. Thank you. Probably be back later. Wonder if forensic search the jetty by the lake. Okay. Oh. Like a piece of jewelry there, stuck between the boards. Well and truly wedged in. Oh, well, luckily, we have a screwdriver that I can't use. Do, do I use this screwdriver? <laughs> Game is like dum dum, can't you see? Interesting. I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. That's pretty. Alright. Hey Emma, do you know anything about this? A few more questions, please. Thank you. Ever seen this? This. Looks like, uh... My old dentist, I gave this to Kate. So Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewelry, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer? Mm, not so secret. I see. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. So the necklace did belong to Kate. Interesting. Wasn't she not so friends with her? A spare evidence bag. I guess, I mean, you can give somebody a thing if you don't see them often. That's, That's all Simon for the moment. Not. Thank you. American necklace? God fucking damn it. You know what this is? Yeah. Yeah, I think Emma had one like it. Actually, you know what? Kate had one. I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking in college. I was probably pretty drunk. That's what college is all about. Oh. Oh, Kate wore the necklace at college. But didn't socialize with Kate outside of Atlas. Wait, what? Excuse me? Only known Kate for three months? Are we gonna are we gonna address this? Aha. Uh -huh. So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago at college? Well, I, I knew he Kate didn't. at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till, till we started Atlas. Right. So you didn't socialize with her at college? No. And you didn't socialize with her outside of Atlas? Uh, no. You didn't see her outside Atlas at all? Um, at all. I no. fucking love him! So Simon did know Kate at college, but why would he lie about that? Maybe he knows Kate better than he's willing to admit. Because he was cheating. Six o'clock. He was totally cheating. He didn't want that to get out. I guarantee you. And he killed her in a jealous rage. He's so precious. He is so precious. Escape behind the pub? And 
for trespassing. A broken window, recently smashed by the look of it. Might have to ask about that. Enter the outbuilding. Hmm. You don't belong here, leave. You don't belong here, leave. Doggo. Dog, dog, dog. Bark, 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 bark. Bark, 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 bark. Uh, press the bell. Sorry, what can I get you? Detective Inspector Jenks. Rebecca, is it? Yeah. Mm. There's been an uh, incident in the village. I'm conducting an investigation. Could I ask you a few questions, please? Right. Come through. Thank you. What does she know? What's it about? There's been an unexplained death locally. Not sure if you've heard. The student? Yes. Yes, it was dreadful news. You're married to Ryan, one of the Atlas leaders, yes? I suppose I am, yes. Well, I just wanted to ask a few questions about something? Kate and Atlas, if that's okay. Did you notice? I don't know if I'll be able to answer any of them, but sure. All right, let's just go down the list here. Did you know Kate? Not very well. She came in a few times, but she was quite a moody person. You could tell she had problems. When was the last time you saw her? Friday. She popped in for a minute. And when was that? Uh, seven-ish. Was she on her own? I didn't see who she was with. She put £20 on the bar and then left. What was that for? A breakage, presumably. £20? Just for a beer glass? <laughs> well, she was very drunk. She just put it on the bar and then walked out. Was there a broken glass? Not that I noticed. But she was a strange girl. Mm -hmm. What do you know about Have you seen this, this? before? <clears throat> no, sorry. So you didn't know if Kate had lost it? No idea. Know anything about Simon Thompson's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? Apparently. No, we do buy from a microbrewery, but we don't usually buy from kitchen breweries. Oh, she said that with such sass. Like, you don't... He doesn't matter. Do you recognize this? I've seen students wearing them. It has some sort of meaning, doesn't it? I forget what it is now. Seen anyone wearing one recently? Not that I can remember. How would she have not seen her driver's license? Don't you need to show that to get drinks? Kind of. Um, if she worked at a bar and you were supposed to be carded before you get in, or it's a small time bar, I mean, not necessarily. I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect that. Or for her to even remember. Like, if I work, if I saw somebody, a bartender, I wouldn't expect them to know, remember every single license that they've seen. How did the window get broken out around the back? I don't actually know. Um, someone said two girls were arguing outside. I found out after they'd gone. And when was this? Last Friday, just after we opened, about half past six. I taped over it until I can get it fixed. We don't want people getting cut and suing us. Does that sort of thing happen a lot? Arguments. No, not Arguments. really. I'm quite strict when it comes to boring clients. I don't think are um, suitable. She knows Kate is a student. Well, she knows that a student got killed. You would know that. I would. I would know that a student got killed nearby, and you would know of Kate. Or she could put two and two together. Somebody could have been like, yo, you know, Kate was that student that died. 
I should be like, oh shit, okay. Isn't it 21 in the UK? I have no idea. I mean, unless Kate was the one who broke the window. Yeah, there's no way to associate that. I mean, that it lines up. It's not really a contradiction, though. Be back later on, if that's okay. Go to the restaurant. There's nobody eating. <laughs> 20 and doesn't know who broke the window, you could try that. I mean... Ask you a couple more things, please. Uh, know anything about a broken window at the pub around the back? Oh, the pub? Um, a broken window at the back? Yeah, I saw it was broken. When was that? I was in the pub on Monday with a college friend. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, shit. I can't contradict what she's saying. Fuck. You liar. Thank you. Probably be back later. I guess. Do you know anything about a broken window at the pub? No, I don't really go to the pub very often. I'm not exactly a pub person. Feel you. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Questions, if you don't mind. Yeah, you right. said Kate gave you twenty pounds for a breakage, but you didn't have a breakage. That's right. Do you think the payment could have been for the broken window? Could it have been Kate who was arguing? Well, I suppose it could have been. Yeah, could have been Kate. You're probably right. Yeah. But you don't know who she was arguing with. No, I'm not sure. I'll ask around. Not realizing Kate had broken the window. Rebecca really should have worked that out before now, unless she did. But why would she lie about that? Because she didn't want to talk about it? I have no idea. Hey, Emma. Ask about a few more things, did please. Did you argue with her? Did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? No, I wasn't there. You weren't in the village? No, I went home last... Last Thursday night, actually, to see my parents. But you do visit the pub. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I know Rebecca quite well. We we all went there quite a bit after college. Oh. Um. I 
Wait. If she went home... She knows about the window, but she was not there. Right? No? <laughs> Wait, she visited the pub Monday with a friend... Thank you. Probably be back later. Thursday and Monday, right? She wouldn't know about the breakage unless she was talking to Rebecca. Know anything about an argument at the pub last Friday? No, I didn't go to the pub last Friday. Yeah, she seemed. She said she course? saw the window broken Monday. Just home. Came here. Just came straight back. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Wait, what day is it today? In game? Um, I don't know. Wait. She doesn't drink. She doesn't like beer. So why did you go to the pub so often? Did she just have wine there? Be back later on, if that's okay. Um, is there something at the village hall? Where is that? Oh, we never went here. Oops. Always nice to randomly find a key on the floor. That's weird. Improve your life, spiritual, intellectual, financial. Wow. Try and hear every Isn't Friday. That interesting. Friday at eight, they have meetings. Yeah. So why did he say that? Couple more questions, if that's okay. Hold on. Guys, ideas? Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Wonder what's in the outbuilding. Okay, fine. Only one I have is the tape. I mean, you have a key. Yeah, we can try the key. This is so breaking and entering. 
Why are we doing this? We don't have permission to do this. Anything we find is invalid. <laughs> Atlas. What the fuck? I wonder whose mask this is. Rebecca's or Ryan's? Just looks like junk, but it's too dark to tell. Turn on the light. Okay. okay. So Atlas is a cult? That's what I'm thinking. Go here. Hey, Emma. A few more questions, please. Ever seen this before? Mm, nope, I haven't, sorry. I think I'd have remembered it. It's creepy as hell. Thank you. Probably be back later. The light is on. Then why is it so dark? Have a look at this. Know anything about that? I haven't seen this one. But it looks a lot like an Atlas mask. Uh, we use them for some of the um, some of the workshops and stuff. Really? How? Well, you um, How? you have to say something uh, boastful or uh, or arrogant. You do it first without the mask, and then you say it with a mask. And the point is? Well, it's easier when you have the mask on, isn't it? People are not as afraid to be free about themselves, you know. What did you find out about? Well, it was advertised. Um, actually, I think I've still got the... Uh, <clears throat> this is the advert that was at my college. Uh, to be honest, I've learned more in three months at Atlas than I did in three years at business school. Can I keep that? Yeah, go for it. I suppose that might be useful as a conversational starter. Thank you. Probably be back later. How? Hey Liam, how are you? It's overly dramatic. It is. I love it. I absolutely love this. I am going to have to take a break in a second to make myself a sandwich. Press the bell. i ask you a couple more things, please. Do you know what this is. Oh, you'll have to ask Ryan about that. So this is Ryan's. It's to do with one of Ryan's methods on the course. Go on. Well, masks allow you to play at being someone different for a while. Students find it quite liberating. So this would be for a student? I think that one's Ryan's, but students do wear them, yes. Yeah. No question of how did you get Ryan's mask. What do you know about this? It's an advertisement. They had it's it designed by an agency, I think. And when was that? Last year sometime. Hmm. I mean, she saw her, but she might not have seen the necklace. That's all for the moment. Thank you. There's nothing here. Can we go to Atlas now? 
Ah, uh, there we go. We're going to have lots of questions for you. Go into the atrium. Ryan was interviewed in the lounge, according to the report. That must be his office. Try the lounge door. The fuck? There is just nobody here. Emo monster, thank you. She's married to him, she said that. Still though. Um Better investigate the woods again. You haven't asked Anne about the Atlas poster. Oh we haven't. That's true. scared the piss out of me. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm a police officer. Detective Inspector Jenks. It's all right. You can carry on if you want to. I'm just going. I'm investigating a, a death in the village, Kate Vine. There was a death recently hello. in the... I knew her. Well, could I ask you a few questions, please? A bit dark. Well, if you give me your name and address, I'll come later on. Where do you live? And what's your name? <laughs> he said farmhouse. Was that drag? I you mean, don't mind. isn't it? <laughs> what do you know about Atlas? I know that it's, um, it's a business course. It's a I went with cult. Simon when he first went, but it wasn't really my thing. How often did you go? Just the once. And you decided it wasn't for you? Yeah, I'd been to something similar, so I decided it wasn't for me. It's probably a pyramid scheme or something. Hasn't seen the mask before. Went to a seminar with Simon. No? Hasn't seen the mask before. Only went once, Atlas. later on if that's okay <laughs> it's some intense eye contact from the detective spooks <laughs> you know if this was real life prick got caught in the woods by a police officer they would have just been drinking and would have liked it as soon as they saw the word police really According to the map, Abbey Farm is across the road there. Ring the bell. Could I ask you a few more questions, please? It'd take you long. Haven't got much time. Excuse. Close the door, shall I? Where do you want to sit? Oh, anywhere's fine. I uh, didn't quite catch your name. James. Sit there. Thank you, James. 
Why are you asking me about Kate Vine? Routine. You know Simon, don't you? Thompson. Why, what did he say? That you all went to college together, you and Kate. That right? Might have done. Right. Good enough. Have you uh, ever tried to sell to my roommate -ish. Thompson's tar? Yeah, I've tried it. Did he sell it? Well, not to me, not for money anyway. We used to trade stuff. What did you trade? I make a nice herbal tea as it happens. Him and his girlfriend were into it. What was this beer like? Lethal. Strong. Fuck your eyes out. Oh, him and his girlfriend like the herbal tea, not the beer. Oh, okay. I was like, wait Have a second. I've seen one of these before. Freedom necklace. I don't think so. Why is no, he just, like, not making about eye a broken at window at the pub? Don't go to the pub. You've never been to the pub. Didn't say that. Been to the pub, but not for about two months, three months. Know anything about an argument at the pub last Friday? Will those eyes get knocked out? No. no. I don't think so. Ever seen this before? No, should I have? No, it's okay. Ever seen one of these? Seen them around college. What do you know about it? Not much. It's a business course. Ask Simon, he's on it. You wouldn't be interested in that sort of thing. <sighs> and you haven't discussed it with Simon? Not really. Business doesn't interest me. I mean... What do you know about Simon's bike? The bike? What bike? You haven't seen him on a bike? I haven't seen him. When was the last time you saw him? About a month ago. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? <laughs> no idea. Why would anybody know if Kate lost her driver's license? When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Can't remember. How did you know her? Uh, through Simon. His girlfriend was mates with her. Saw her around college a few times. Did you socialize with her much? Nah. She wasn't my type. Um... I wonder what his type is, right? Probably be back later. Someone out of his league. God fucking damn it. What is up here? Maybe he's gay? Maybe. Just go into somebody's greenhouse. Freaking no stopping him. Picture frames with black painted glass. Very interesting. That's weird. Are we going to ask him about the things that we saw? A few more questions, if you don't mind. I wonder how many times they've recorded that. Now, what's all this stuff in the workshop? Paint and stencils and things like that. Just a little sideline of mine. Oh, you do picture framing. They're black mirrors. Scrying mirrors. 
Now, what's a scrying mirror? Show you one if you want. Scrying goes back centuries. The ancient Persians did it. This country pagans still practice it. The fortune tellers pretend to do it. That's what the crystal ball's all about. It's all scrying. The mirror's just one way of doing it. But what is scrying? Depends who you are. People do it for different reasons. What sort of reasons? Exploring your mind. Clearing your mind. Communicating with the dead. Is that what you use them for, James? Communicating with the dead? And they make them for other people these days. And there's a market for these, is there? Lots of people want to talk to the dead. Even if they don't believe in it. Do you make a profit on them? I don't do it for the money. How very charitable of you. Can I keep this? Keep it. Thank you. Thank you. Black mirrors. I hear you sell them. Pipes. Can I have it? I wonder what else James is into. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. All right. Let's ask Emma. He seems like he's seen some stuff. Yeah, he seems like he's really upset about Kate's death. A couple more questions. For somebody okay. who wasn't interested in her. Have you seen one of these before? Is that from James? Now, what do you know about James? Whoa. That he's creepy. He was selling them last Friday at the market. There's, there's a market every week type of thing. And uh, I usually go there for lunch. So you wouldn't buy one of these? No, I wouldn't. But Kate would. Was she uh, into this sort of thing? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think so. She bought one and uh, I went round to her flat to try it out. You're meant to see ghosts or spirits or something. It doesn't work. How do you use it? You're just meant to stare into it. Shall I show you? Go ahead. <sighs> okay, so you just... You just stare, stare like this. And... Uh, then you see... see what sorry um <laughs> uh, look uh you you meant to see a ghost or something look it doesn't work what the fuck kind of hypnotist bullshit is going on oh james was selling them last friday you were here right you were here right so how'd that go since you were here for so long on friday Uh -huh. Since you were here. So, you went home to see your parents on Thursday night, that right? Uh, yes. But you said you saw James at the market on Friday. He, um, no, I went to, um, I went to see my parents on Friday night. What time did you go on Friday? Um, eight or nine. And you didn't see Kate at all on Friday? No. You're not a very good liar, Emma. Okay. I saw Kate. Where? At the pub we were arguing. Go on. What were you arguing about? I, I'd lent her 50 pounds because she was desperate and we were just arguing. I, it didn't really bother me. She just didn't have it. And Kate broke the window? Yes. She, she did things like that when she was angry. Smash things? Yes. So it was Emma arguing with Kate. But why didn't she want to admit it? In case it gave her a motive? Or something else? Okay. <sighs> it's his eyes, they peer into her soul. God damn it. Didn't see Kate very often. K 
Kate's argument. No? I'd straight up admit murder if he just stopped staring at me like that. Where is... Why would she le lend money to Kate if she didn't know her very well? Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's try this. Ever seen one of these? <laughs> yeah, that's one of James's. He's into like new age stuff, mysticism, magic spells, that sort of thing. He's nuts, though. I mean, he thinks the government are tracking him. Or <laughs> Why would he think that? Well, I don't know. You'd have to ask him. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Hmm. We should ask him about the government tracking him. What if the government is actually tracking him? It's a video game. They probably are. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Back later on, if that's okay. I have no idea. Fucking damn it. Ideas, guys? You should call the chief for an update. I haven't asked Rebecca about the Black Mirror. Oh, we have not. What's happened so far in the story? More things, We're trying to find out more information. We haven't really figured anything out yet. Have you seen one of these before? Is it meant to be black like that? I think so. No. So no. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. tape it matched the tape on the window what tape yeah on her ID what Um, 
Well... What the fuck? What are we supposed to do with it? You should call the chief for an update. Um, how? So like a cell phone or, some, or a uh, payphone or something? I imagine there's no cell phones. Phone box, god damn it. Hello, Jenks? Yeah, Chief, I had a confession from Emma Bowman. It turns out she was arguing with Kate last Friday outside the pub. Blanche. Kate broke the window. That's what the money was for. Uh -huh. What were they arguing about? Money. Uh. Emma says she'd lent some to Kate, but Kate hadn't paid it back. So Kate had money problems, so she broke a window and then paid Rebecca back for it. <laughs> Something doesn't add up there, Jax. It doesn't make sense, does it? Yeah. Call me back when you know some more. Okay. Speak later, Chief. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, this doesn't quite make sense. Wait. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Um. How do I ask her about the $20 Thank you. that was left Probably behind? Be back later. There must be a contradiction somewhere. things please she needed the money is what Emma claimed Kate broke a window after the argument. Heard an argument about two girls outside. Rebecca is strict about barring clients. No. Ideas, guys?
Maybe you could ask Thank him you. again. Thank you. Probably be back later. Maybe. Couple more questions. If she that's was okay. Giving money to Emma. You read Kate. Emma gave money to Kate. Knew Kate had bought the mirror, but she had money problems. Hey, Vix, how are you? There's something else Kate had bought. M jewelry! So, Kate's argument needed it. Broken pendant. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. So, you lent money to Kate because she was desperate, but she bought loads of jewelry and things. So, why were you lending her money? Well, no, it's because, um. It, well, it's... it wasn't about money, was it, Emma? No. Go on. What was it really about? We were arguing because she was going to blackmail Ryan, the guy from Atlas, over an affair he was having, and then tell his wife if he didn't give her the money. Ryan's affair with Kate? No, I don't know. I think he was having an affair with another student and Kate found out. And why were you involved? Because I didn't really agree with it. I didn't agree with what she was doing, even if he did have an affair. Were you friends with Ryan? No, I'd never met him. You just thought Kate was wrong? She's boning Ryan. Hmm, not sure about this. Emma's either on a moral crusade, or there's another reason she was worried about Kate blackmailing Ryan. Oh, 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 oh shit. Ryan's boning James. Emma's cheating on Simon, probably. Um, that's all for the moment. Thank you. I should call Chief for an update. Okay. I'm going to take a quick break because I'm starving. I'm going to make a sandwich. I will be right back.
Okay, I got food. Let's do this. Chief. Surprise, surprise. More news. Turns out the argument between Emma and Kate wasn't about money. Uh. Apparently, Kate was going to blackmail Ryan Rand because she had information that Ryan was having an affair with a student. Huh. Emma was trying to talk her out of it. How did uh, Emma find out about it? Well, they were friends, so I presume Kate just told her. Policemen don't presume, Jax. They find out. If Emma was trying to talk her out of it, she must have had a reason. There's something missing, Jax. Find out what Emma had to do with it. Okay, thanks, Chief. Bye-bye. <laughs> Jinx, you idiot. You got is it? I have a sandwich. <laughs> I was really, really hungry. What's on the same questions, please. Um, turkey, ham, gouda, and mayonnaise. CP CP still? Or are you feeling better? New CP CP. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. Guys, ideas? <clears throat> no, give me a hint. I'm 
She never went, met Ryan, but went to one class. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Aha. Uh -huh. Duh. You said you went to an Atlas meeting with Simon. Yes. That's interesting, because I happen to know that Ryan is the main lecturer at Atlas. But you say you never met him. Why did you say you don't know him? Because I have tasted him. Okay, I, I, need, I need to tell you something. I just need to make sure Simon doesn't find out. I won't be telling Simon anything he doesn't have to hear. And you can't tell Rebecca either. Go on. Okay, so the affair... That I told you! Was, ...was between Ryan and I. I was having the affair. And Kate knew. So Kate was blackmailing both of you? No. She didn't care about me. It was part of the course, you see, having to take all these risks. She thought it was funny to turn her back on Ryan. She thought I wouldn't care. But you did. Yes, I was already with Simon when Ryan and I... You know, and... I didn't want Simon finding out, and Kate thought that he wouldn't, but I didn't want her risking it. And then if Rebecca found out, then Simon would definitely have found out, and then How it would have blown up, and it would have, you? would have just been a big How mess. You, and so you just and argued live. and... <laughs> what? Well, she just stormed off and broke a window. And that was it? You didn't see her again that night? No. Are you sure? Yes. Promise. Emma's whole tissue of lies just fell apart. So, Ryan's a bit of Lothario, is he? I think it's time I met this Ryan Rand face to face. Why did why did I go here thinking that I went to the right place? Like I fully was like, yes, I went to the right place. <laughs> Why are you always lying? Ryan! Oh, Ryan. Yes. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm conducting an investigation in the area. Wouldn't mind asking you a few questions, am I right? <sighs> Come in, Inspector. Thank you. Oh, Ryan. <laughs> Drink, Inspector. I'd better not, eh? So you wanted to speak to me? I believe that uh, Kate Vine was a student at Atlas. <sighs> Kate Vine? Well, yes, she was. All of this has been thoroughly investigated, Inspector. It was suicide. Well, we have reason to believe there may be rather more to it than that. Really? Then, in that case, I'd be prepared to assist in any way possible. Thank you. Pleasure. He's too obvious. He's too obvious. Do you know anything about an argument in the pub obvious. last Friday? At what time? I believe it wasn't long after the pub opened. No. I usually leave for the manor house about 6. Uh, I start preparations around 6.30. I like to get a head start. I believe the last time you saw Kate Vine was at the pub last Friday, then you came straight back with some of the students, is that right? Uh, yes, I like to have a glass of port or two after a long well, exactly day. Exactly, does that being married to I the see landlady. what she sees in him. How did she seem that night? The landlady? Kate. Oh, Kate. Uh, well, she was her usual self, drunk. That was usual. It was for her, yes. I mean, it didn't impair her ability, though. She was a very bright star, lots of potential, very enthusiastic. So she seemed to be enjoying the course? Well, as far as anybody could tell, yes. When did you first meet her? Uh, when she joined, about three months ago. And you hadn't met her before then? No. So you didn't suspect her was anything wrong? Exactly. <laughs> Do you mean, did I expect her to drown herself? Of course I didn't inspect her. It was quite a shock. Nobody expected that. Uh, 
Have you seen, seen this, this before? before? Psh, not that I recall. You don't know whether Kate had lost this or not? Uh, uh, no, I've, I've never seen it before, sorry. <laughs> I just like it how he's like, have you ever seen this person's driver's license before? No, what? Does Simon Thompson ride a bike, do you know? Doubt he's going to finish so, yes. his last. I, I think he not. drives as well, but I might be mistaken. Have you tried Simon's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? <laughs> no, I haven't had the pleasure, sorry. Know what this is? Yes. It's a freedom necklace. Uh, it's a symbol that we use on the course. It's supposed to represent freedom from the chains of your ancestry. Have you ever bought one of these? I haven't, but I've seen the students wearing them. <laughs> okay. What do you know about the broken window at the back of the pub? Oh, uh, Rebecca told me about it. I don't know how it got smashed, though. I told her to tape over it. We can't have anybody cutting themselves. You have to be very health and safety conscious these days. <laughs> Can you tell me about this? Haven't seen that for a while. We had a friend who used to make them for us for the course. He passed away last year. What does the uh, symbol mean? Uh, it's borrowed from paganism. It's the symbol of the triple goddess. The mother, maiden and crone, represented by the waxing and waning of the moon. Uh, it's an ancient symbol. It predates Christianity. Some people say that it dates back to Paleolithic times. And is that uh, relevant to the course? Well, no, no, no. I mean, it, it's a symbol we, we dabbled with, but it's not particularly relevant. We don't use it on the course, no. No, it's not used on the course at all? No? Why do I feel like you're a lying sack of shit? Have you seen one of these before? I believe that uh, looks like a scrying mirror to me. You have seen one before? Hmm. Well, I, I, I used to have one myself, actually, along with lots of other bits and pieces of that nature. Silly things, you know. Really? Uh, yes, I, when I so was in my teenage know. years, <laughs> I had quite an <coughs> obsession with that kind of thing. I, uh, I was a very somber child, uh, and, well, not that you could tell, always playing fantasy somber games, child. reading books about that kind of malarkey, you know. What sort of books did you read? Well, uh, books on black magic, not the chocolates. Um, witchcraft, satanic rituals, that kind of thing. I, I grew out of it, of course. But you're not into that sort of thing now. <laughs> of course I'm not. Uh, but, I mean, I don't need to believe in the supernatural, Inspector. The natural world is far more interesting. Don't you think so? Don't you think so? Here. Tell me about this. Ah, it's, uh, that's the first one we ever had made. We had it designed by an agency after we'd spent weeks trying to, trying to find a name for this place. It took you weeks? I don't like that, Inspector. I thought it was a rather grand name. Actually, if I'm being honest, I plucked it out of thin air one night in the George while I was having a few gin and tonics. Well, actually, somebody left a book and I stole it. Jinx seems so smug, pulling out the most random things. Have you seen this before? No, it's a pad of paper. He admitted to thievering. It's true, he did admit to thievering.
It's not what I wanted to do. Told her back at the tape over it. Has never seen the license before. No, we're not gonna address the tape? Okay. Bird in cage is a symbol in the chorus. Symbols not used in the course. No? What students? Doesn't seem like many students go there, right? Rebecca found out and told Simon and they jumped her. Didn't kill her though. Then Emma and Ryan found her and offed her. It was all of them. James was too high to care. God damn it. Um Ideas. I'm so stupid, I could never be an investigator. Maybe ask Rebecca about the license in the window. We've already done that. She said the same thing. For the tape? No, she doesn't mention the tape. First met Kate three months ago at Atlas. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't someone say Brian made the poster? No. They, the, Rebecca said that they got an agency to do it.
none of this. Be back later on, if that's okay. <clears throat> we need to come back later with that info. Yeah, I feel like we we have to find a contradiction in Rebecca's. i ask you a couple more things, please. Has never seen a Black Mirror before. Poster was designed last year. He's lying. No, he's not. Replies when not in a conversation with someone. Thank you. Probably be back what? later. Oh. Last saw Kate last Friday. Didn't socialize with Kate outside Atlas. Kate often seemed drunk. Knew Kate college, but didn't socialize. Argumentative at college, drinking problem at college. Didn't see Kate very often. Nobody's seen Kate. Can't remember the last time he saw Kate. I don't see anything with the wrong, wrong with that. No wonder she was so depressed. Everybody seems to be disassociated with her, right? Who is Paul? Who is Paul? Paul is Ryan's father. Is he in here? being used in seminars but it hasn't been used in over a year yeah but like if it was a different type of mask that they were using i could understand that but we can't contradict what one person says with somebody else's stuff it has to be both from the same person and i can't go up the stairs more questions if you don't mind I 
Ideas. Help me. Guys, hints. Give me a hint. Simon? Okay. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Did you want me to stop? Give me one second, guys. Okay, so Dilly wants to get Thank some you. stuff done. Probably be back later. I will save. And that'll be it. Well, at least for today. Save. Yes. I had fun. Thank you, guys. It's not a short game, but I doubt we'd get it in one sitting. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, let's see who else is streaming. Thank you for all the support and love today. That was really awesome. It was a fun stream. It was a fun stream. I had a lot of fun. Let's get you guys over to... Complex. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.